girl. Yeah. Ice, the bird. Uh, she can know all you little turds. Damn. Oh, love me for my ambition. Ambition. Oh! Shout out to everybody out in the world. This is Sound from Club Ambition, and we got Marlon. I'm back again, baby. Joining again for this surprise album out of fucking nowhere. Yeah, I didn't know it. I didn't know we were supposed to expect something this soon. After yeah. That track. What the yeah. f is going on? Gonna wanna, as many go, go, call him, um, gonna want us back with a brand new album out of nowhere. This is basically his fifth or sixth project. This is called A Gift. And a curse. Damn. It seems personal. That's Damn. a hell of a title, like yeah. a gift and a curse. Like, what are yeah. you talking about? Like, your situation right now is a gift and a curse, probably, because the streets don't understand. But then your family's like happy that you're back, like you're alive, you're free. H has it been that long though for him to make a whole album about it? I know. I don't know, right? It's, it seems like it might be too soon. I thought he was gonna roll out more singles. You know, maybe an interview. Yeah. He didn't do no interview yet. The last song has been successful. I like it. We like that's it. Good, people people good. like it. Yeah. It might be more successful than he imagined. Maybe that's why he's dropping an album out of nowhere. I didn't know he had an album worth of music already done. Is this album music done out of jail after he came out? You know, it could be that type of situation. Any old songs? I don't know. I'm hearing that Wheezy Out of Here is not on this album at all. It seems to be Turbo or Taurus producing, producing on here. Uh, certain production is not on here. No features, just by himself. Mm. So what the fuck are we going to get? I'm excited as fuck. I've been dying to listen to this. I've been waiting for Marlon to link up. This is um one of my favorite artists. Every time he drops an album, I love the albums. He really hasn't really missed much with projects with me. The one I really haven't liked a lot probably was one with uh, Little Baby, Drip Harder. So 14 new songs. Okay. Track one, back at it. Watch the full reaction on Patreon to see no skips, unedited, uncut. Smoking the sky, this shit's on the hit like it's cracking it. Damn! Two X's just for the tech top niggas, put that in. Back at it. He messed the ball up and I gave him the drip that I'm gonna. He even sounds healthier. Catch that mean that nigga, hold on. Double that trick in his back, yeah. He fucked this pop in my back, damn. Like, add up the numbers of math, yeah. This gonna be a whole other sound. I promise that I can contract the town. Don't wanna see me walk my right head down. Think it's funny, I ain't playing around. Wow, this shit, this shit needs to, like needs to drop, drop There's no drop so far. He's a drop. Pathetic. Pathetic. Back at it. 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 And he's back at it for sure. No drop. Felt like a drop was gonna come. It would have made it harder, like a bass 100%. drop. Would have been like a fucking vibe. Hundred percent. But this still gave intro vibes. He's talking that talk. He really hasn't done a song like this. Really, he doesn't do songs like this. He's saying he's coming different here. He's also touching upon. What'd you say was that line you caught? He said, "I had to admit it. Y'all ain't y'all ain't like me or some shit like that." Yeah, some shit like that. So he he's talking about the Is he admission. About that though, I, you know. I feel like he is, because my thing is, he, he's probably not going to do an interview. Or is it just him, like, saying, like, okay, like, like y'all dropping me and shit like that, because I said this, this, and that, I knew y'all really weren't, uh, you know, rocking with me like that. Yeah, you're showing you know your saying? true colors yeah. and shit, you're showing your true love know. for me, your true hate. Something's going on. I think that he's not going to do no interviews or nothing like that. And it's going to be the know. only way that he's going to talk through it, because he could be subliminal. Yeah. He could be, like, straight up, but it's artistic. Some people were like, oh, he did the music video, and, um... California or somewhere and like I guess there's a new law that the lyrics can't be used against them there Some shit. people were commenting mm -hmm. that they had like whole, these conspiracy okay. theories so it could be true you never know next track back to the moon if you don't go with me don't do what I do thank you the one but he really the two better get low when I hear that you cool I'm sitting in the club the flow like, god is back they set me down like I went out of space now I gotta go back to the moon Ooh, I'm about to start acting a fool it's just you and me you know who I choose I miss out on millions and millions that money is gone Ain't getting no conversation, ain't no conversation for Let's get back to the basic main reason they fake it Cause I done been fucking they hoes God damn, man Damn You ain't caught, gotta know how it go Cause this shit can get tricky for sure I 
I've been driving the car from the back, taking pictures of pieces and back of the road. Shows. I hate Miami, we put the bulletproof back on the road. And the minute it's been so long. If a nigga didn't never see me, probably when he be rapping all along. I can stop, I got what was needed. Yeah, I know y'all won't wanna put me on. If you don't go with me, don't do what I do. Thank you, they said he had to put the bulletproof Let back on the road. That shit makes me sad. Bro. I got like I went out of space, now I gotta go back to the man. I to get up and close to a nigga, cause I'm over butter. Gotta watch for the law, so I really can't talk to you niggas. But fuck it. I ain't having time to be tongue. Rest in my nigga, come see me in public. My God. Yeah, bro, he's hurting, man. He gotta get this shit off his chest, he's Mark. Hurting, bro. This nigga wanted to get this shit off his chest. That's why that shit came out of nowhere. He's hurting, man. You think you're the one, but you really the two. Bulletproof when I'm shooting the crew. Oh my God. He's, he's hurting, man. Yeah. He oh, didn't expect y'all to switch shit. up, man. He didn't expect y'all to switch up, and that's just hurting him. And you know what he said? What I caught, which I think is a shot of little baby, talking about basically, he was like, you wouldn't be even rapping without me or something like that. Like, oh, okay. like without that. Gunna. Yeah. Like, he's talking in third person, like, without Gunna, without the drip, without, without me dropping. He's not wrong, though. And it's like, yes, he gave little baby the steps. The blueprint. And he literally would do right for him in the beginning, like, yo, do it like this. There wouldn't be no little baby without Gunna. He is talking that shit. He is tired of everything. He's flowing like crazy. He's, he's not slurring. Uh -uh. You can hear him clear. Yeah. There's no drugs in his system. The man's built like a WWE wrestler. He might get a contract with WWE because WWE doesn't care about snitches. They don't care nah, about the snitching nah, shit. Nah. That, that, that shit builds character. It builds character. Gonna. He comes in like a snake or something, like a, like a rat. <laughs> a Whatever role he wants to go into, he can eat some cheese. You know, uh, uh, this is this is crazy. I don't know no more. And the production, impressive so far. It's like a violin. And I don't know where to come. We will never use the money. They don't know how to buy. I'm done with all these foes on my soul. Just forget them. Ain't no more coding in my liver. And if you wanna roll, you can go and roll with them. I can do it on my own. I don't wanna play with niggas. Damn. If it's family, that mean the love will never ever end. I don't know no more. Talking that talk. I know that when you shine, they wish some days would be dark. Niggas just ain't mad at that, it's really some I stood. Wanna know how I wanna feel and listen to my music. Real life on this type of shit, feel like a movie. Oh no, no more. Oh no, no more. Why the bitch you cut their ties and be forever Yeah, man. He's talking that talk. He, he just getting it off of his chest. Yeah. <laughs> he said, You wanna know about wanna listen to my music? Mm -hmm. He's like, We cut the ties. He's like he's he's like he's like he's learning stuff. He's saying yeah. like stuff. He knows stuff now. Back then, basically, he was like brainwashed. He's going through a reality check right now. You know the hook right there. I didn't love the way he was kind of on it. He was kind of off beat. Like I don't know no more. And the beat was kind of going different. This shit. Feel, but it was okay. This one felt very lackluster to it me. It was like hmm. Like it wasn't giving what the first two were kind of giving. Yeah. But it goes back to like okay, he has something to say. You know, he just is like, is like statement pieces. Yes, that's the thing. You have to accept it because of the fact of what he's saying. But he don't know no more. Yeah, nigga, we don't know either. We but want is, the answers. This, this isn't one you, you're not gonna bump this. No, no, no. This is not a bumpable one. No, no, no. This is one of those. Okay, we play on the album, yeah, and this, then we keep it. This is uh, going. One of those is gonna be brought up in case you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Payback, but it's spelled like Maybach. It's gonna feel like Southside, Mayday in a break. Hey, hey, hey. I just wanna live, pray we all get back. No remorse for my dime, so my mom relax. Niggas say I did it, and I swear it ain't did it. Woo! I'm still part of my business. Woo! Motherfuck, this is some trying to give us all the sentence. Woo! Life changing with the times, so lately I been reminiscing. To me, I ain't on the ambiance. Switching on my butt, are you serious? I made a few mistakes, but I'm still a star. I hate the government trying to tell us apart. It's gonna feel like you pay back. Hey, love to say that. Uh, it's bad. Uh, Southside, made it in a break. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. I've been smoking shit and tea in my lawyers, made back. Uh, hey, 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 Saying he's crying in the back of his lawyer's Maybach? I, the man is going through hell. Bro, I don't, I don't know about that one, bro. <laughs> he said the, the, I can't the trust him, a bro. He's a scammer, bro. If my lawyer ain't pulling up in a fucking clapped out hoopty, yeah. I don't, I'm not going to trust him, bro. We need a humble lawyer like Better Call Sal. Yeah, you got to pull saying. up in a beat up Toyota Corolla you know from 05. Pull up, pull up. 
pull up in the fucking tow truck with his car in the back. <laughs> I don't My know. God. I don't know. But the fact that he's admitting, like, he's crying about this, like, he's like, I mean, you got to cry. Because think about it. It's like, bro, you were on top of the game. He was, like, hotter than Young Thug last year because he had the biggest, like, one of the biggest rap albums. Yeah. He was everywhere talked about. He had the beef with Freddie Gibbs. He was viral. He was huge. He had pushing P. Everyone was pushing P. And then this happens. And it's like, everyone's questioning you. And it's like, bro. And he's like, the government's putting us between each other. Because he's saying, like he said before, and, and bread and butter. They set him up. It was, yeah. a, it was like a situation. Like, you got to admit to this, but you're not admitting to it. They spun him. Freedom sounds great. Who wouldn't want to be free? But then the credibility gets questioned. Not only that, you're really free, though, because, like, you could be free from He's the, still the locked up in his mind. The government, but that don't mean you're free in the streets. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Cash it. This sounds like a beat I've heard him on before. Running the rest like I want him. Count up the rest we're going to want him. Clarity beats as you want him. Talk that cash shit like I want him. Talk that cash shit like I want him. To speak. I'ma be brief, we got the brief, I got a freak, she be the pee, I'ma prevail, parasail, I flow through the sea, y'all don't see, can't see me like y'all Stevie Wonder, I drink like a sweat in the summer, you know ain't no need to be summer, running no ass like I don't want them, no more corners, see this is the gun that I know, bro, it's the best one so far, yup, hold on, talk that cash shit like I don't want them, I didn't put the heat right in, the car was rocking, Yo, free my boy Jeffro. Jeffrey. Young Tuck. Jeffrey. Oh shit. First Got statement. To, first blunt blunt statement on the album. Free my boy. Free my bro, Jeffro. Got to Back bro. to business. I gotta drop the music. Back to business. I'm signed to you. Free you. So he's basically trying to claim a statement like, yo, I'm making you money. Got you know, to, you I did you wrong, but I'm still working for you. That's crazy. And then we got Young Thug today posting. He posted a QR code, and when you scan the QR code, it goes to a countdown for five days. No one knows what's going on. The caption said, business is business. So I thought when I scanned the QR code, I'm like, oh, this is going to go to Gunna's album. Nah. I'm like, he's promoting Gunna. Now everyone thinking it's a brand new Young Thug album in five days. You think a whole album? Drake posted it. Metro Boomin posted it. Oh, shit. So it's like, are they co-signing what's Young the, Thug? What's the album that we were supposed to get? Uh, Pink or Punk. No, we got it though, right? Then Punk got Punk dropped. I thought we were supposed to get something, and then he got locked up. I forgot the name of the one that he was saying. I heard one song, and I saw a music video, unreleased, sounded really fire. He literally filmed it the day before he got locked up with um Left. Mm. I don't know what we're gonna get. Uh, I wanna. Is it is it new music from Jail? Is it gonna be Gunna shots at Gunna? Like why the timing? Maybe he like heard okay Gunna's dropping an album. Fuck. We gotta drop some shit because the gunner's dropping. I can't be quiet about it. He's talking to music. I gotta talk to music. I'm excited. This is crazy. And Drake's posting it. Drake didn't post Gunner. Five days though? No one else is posting Gunner. When, when, when did Well, five days and like 24 hours. So basically six days, which is basically. It drops on Thursday, okay. which is basically a week from today. Right. Probably Thursday midnight. I think okay. that's what the countdown okay. basically was. So. Damn, I wanna hear some Thugger. This is crazy. I'm, I wanna hear some Jeffrey. Don't kill Gunna. Let's keep Gunna alive. Business is business. You know, he said it here basically. Business is business, business too. Is so, business. This is, that's crazy. I'm gonna fuck how you go by, go by. Cash shit. Favorite song so far. Best song so far on the yes, Gunna album. Yes. Next song right here. Fuck you mean. It's a crazy album cover, bro. Fuck you mean. You ain't got no one that be calling me splurge. Drop me jump right out the curve. Yeah. Spin on the first and the third. Yeah. Solid, don't keep him out. Who the fuck is that? Ray Shrimmer? Nigga. Who the hell is that? I don't want it, they working my nerves. I'm about to pause the serve. Smack from the back of a perm. Ice, the bird. Shit, you know, are you the turds? Damn! In my own land, we can merge. So nah, this shit's crazy. Learn. I don't know who the hell that bitch is in the background. That bitch might be from Providence. I love my bitches, it's pretty. They showing their titties, it's up to the ceiling. A billion. I'm gonna get down to the gritty, then fuck up the city, the home of the villain. Look, I got everybody wishing. Yeah. I hope you play your position. Yeah. Give us my uh, only decision. Uh, yeah. Younger no one that back calling me splurge. Uh, Rockin' her round the curve. Yeah. Solid, I'm keeping my word. Can't be my equal, I don't know what you heard. Yeah. Yo. Okay. What the fuck? Okay. Yeah. What the fuck? 
You see? That's like some festival shit. Yeah. Like, he really just dropped one of those right now? Nah, that's crazy, nigga. And, like, he, no one got copy. Uh, There's no writers. There's no credits. Like, who is that? Yeah. They probably won't even want to admit whoever they are. Imagine it was him with like a vocal, like a vocal change, vocal change, and just sampled him. Like, yeah, because no one really wants to work with him at all. Pitch that shit. Imagine no Sway Lee on that, like a real collab. Yeah. Like if niggas didn't care about credibility, whatever street shit, get Sway Lee on there. I feel like Sway Lee doesn't care about that though. Nah. Sway Lee would do a song with Gunna, no? I w- I think so. I mean, <gasps> Sway Lee. I don't feel like Sway Lee's the type of motherfucker that be in in any in any bullshit. That sounds perfect with Sway Lee. That sounds like some Ray Shrimmer type I shit. Like, I feel like Sway Lee doesn't even know that this shit's going on right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's in some pussy in, he, in Japan. J- bro, he he's so... I don't know. He's in the Spider-Verse now. He's just flowing, bro. Yeah, yeah. He's in a different... He's you know they're doing a fucking uh, a concert shit? What do you mean? Like they're doing a, a Spider-Verse. Metro Boomin Spider-Verse yeah. concert? I'm One? Going. I'm going. One? It's a tour. Oh, shit. Nigga, what? Yeah. Oh, it, we gotta go to that. Hell yeah. Hundred percent. I gotta see Corlea Ray perform that shit live. Huh? No, 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 love yourself. Bring Spider Man out. Bring Peter Parker, Tom Holland. Listen, that song's hard. Cash shit and this one back to back. Hardest so two far. songs yeah. so far. You can play them bitches any time of the day. I don't give a fuck if you're a, the hardest gangster. Yeah. I don't care. You cannot deny good music. Gunna is doing the smart play. Because if this album was bad, I'd be like, what the fuck, the fuck you drop it? Now, if you're dropping good music, you could drop this shit out of nowhere. It's going to work. Mm-hmm. People are going to like it. Mm-hmm. This song's hard. Let's keep it going. Then I'm right back on deal. Still got some balls on the payroll. You niggas still tipping Carol. OJ, got to go get it tomorrow. I'm selling out the Apollo. The nigga won't talk out his side of his neck. I just let it be. I'm coming swallow. Um, you know I'm spinning. I don't know what you think of, but you help a young nigga grow. Got so many bands, about so many bangers. You asking the real niggas no. But this shit, I'm still doing it for Jeff and Lakitty. You know it's our beat to the pole. Yeah. And him again. He said, "I'm doing this shit for Lil Jeff and Lil Kitty." Key, Lil Key yeah. passed away yeah. last year. Rest in peace, Lil Key. He's shouting out his people and YSL. I'm telling you, bro. Until I don't hear anything from them, bro. If in five, six days we hear Jeffrey say, fuck Gunna, I'm going to be like, oh, shit, but okay. Damn. Okay. If I'm going to, if that happens, Might we got to drop another reaction. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah we got we to gotta pick a side. We're going to have to pick a side. And we might have to ride with Jeffrey. I'm going to ride with Jeffrey. But. I'm going to be honest with you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I prefer Jeffrey over Gunna. Oh, shit. It's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be crazy. He's just shot him. That's the second time. Free Jeffrey right there. Lil Jeffrey. And low kitty, low key. Wow. I'm about to crawl. Gonna make up a yeah. Then I'm right back on a deal. OJ, gotta go get it tomorrow. The nigga won't talk out his side of his neck. I just let it be. I'm coming swallow. I know you heard I've been pulling up pressing these niggas who claim not ready. You mean all on the yacht. So he said he's pulling up. He's like, I heard. I know you heard I've been pulling up with these niggas and saying I'm ratted. That I ratted. And pressing them. I haven't heard nothing. And a bulletproof. And a bulletproof maybe and with, with his lawyer in the back of the, the, the Maybach yeah, crying yeah. with his lawyer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe he's talking about in Atlanta. We're not from Atlanta. Anyone from Atlanta, any fans, we have fans in Atlanta, comment on below. What's the word in the streets of Atlanta? <laughs> Is Gunna really pressing people allegedly? It hasn't been nobody of notoriety status. Is Gunna a bully now? Is Gunna bullying people? Like, And what does he mean by that? So he's obviously saying, like, I'm not a rat. Instead of him just saying it blatant, it's like, yo, I'm pressing people that have been saying I'm ratted. Who are these people? He didn't press, like, no, like, boozy, or, like, no celebrity has been calling him out about snitching. And maybe he shouldn't even be saying this on record. You're not pressing nothing, bro. You got to be pressing your buttons on your shirt, pressing the buttons to start your car. No more street shit unless you want to go back to jail. But it's music. Yeah. Yeah. I mean... <laughs> Man, it's like, may, it, it might also be people that's like obviously ain't really like big people, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like like how the internet's been calling my rat this, this, and that, blah, blah. But it's people who yeah. are all high and mighty behind the phone and shit like that. But in person, he might know them or some shit. Go, might deck them. Yeah, like some old school, maybe high school friends. I'm a or rat some bitch. Shit. Bah. Bah. I'm a rat bitch. Bah. And, and listen, I would not want to get in the boxing match right now with Gunner. 
Gunner has the body of like a Tekken <clears throat> fighter. He does. Of like a Tekken Street Fighter. He looks like a, a black Atlanta rock. If you want a free hundred dollars to bet, that's right, bet on sports right now, whether there's NBA playoffs or MLB, whatever you want to bet it on, a free hundred dollars, underdog fantasy, use the code AMBITION. This video is brought to you by Underdog Fantasy. Make sure that's our new partner. If you guys want to get some free money, bet on some games on a fun way, in a fantasy sports way, underdog fantasy. The code is ambition. You're going to get a free hundred dollars. Also, there's a link that you can just click the sign up link with our name, our code already in it. But the code is ambition of three hundred dollars, not a scam. This is an amazing opportunity. I know a lot of people like myself love sports. And I know a lot of my friends I already use this code a lot, multiple times. You could create as many accounts as possible. Shh. Don't say I said that. Three hundred dollars. Match your bet. Ambition. Underdog Fantasy. Go check it out right now. A lot of bass on that bitch. His beats even sound kind of like happier. I don't know. Run that back, turbo. Oh, Turbo! Back, turbo. Oh. Talk to the type of Can't even stop it. Can't even stop it. It's better than United. I'm letting the energy build up. Look at that shit. We would eat all the bread across the top. We're crazy like this. Smoking angel dust. Never could beat me. Not the boat with the orange Lamborghini. Yeah, the one missed the head to the beanie. What? You ain't seen it. I said, fuck you. Know that I mean it. I don't care that I was broke, but I still kept it decent. Now we will be decent. Yeah, I'm spreading it tonight. Don't worry, bro. You made it back with this. I don't want to share this. Yo. Text, text. He got these boys with a bitter face. We pushing up, baby. Get it straight. I double it up. Oh, all the niggas. I don't even need them. Popping out with a different demeanor. Hey. Uh, uh, you ain't seen them. That's what it is to the world. I really need them. Came on the bottom. Nigga, kind of playing suicide. Oh, oh, oh. Now you got them. Yeah. He said, you niggas is sweetie. Sweet, you niggas sweetie. Yeah, man's, man's, man's might be broke. He might be broke. Marlon is right. This might be the only way he makes money. Maybe off of music royalties. Those checks might be coming in from this. Because other than that, how is going to generate revenue? He can do walkthroughs at clubs. He can do random concerts. Maybe he can. Not in Atlanta. Yeah. Not in certain cities. You he, know. You can do it here in Prague, bro. He can come out here to Providence, Rhode Island. Yeah. Listen. Sell out. I'll try my best to protect you, but if someone runs up on me with a gun, gunner, you're on your own. <laughs> I'm running the other way. Niggas, some young niggas come up, yo, try to press you on some fist. I might knock some young niggas out. For you. I don't even know you. Look at me talking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but he, there's no other way to generate money. Festivals, he was a festival artist. They had a drop. He's not on any festivals. He had to cancel them all. There's no way he's not getting money from his old music, though. His own streams have to be going up. Yeah, hundred percent. He's his his TikTok. He always like old songs that go up on TikTok. Niggas always bring up some old shit and make it viral again. Um, I think yeah, it has to be from that. But this new one is gonna do good. But is it gonna do as good as his other shit? Maybe not with the without the features. If he doesn't do videos, I think he needs more of a push with. This one to make it do good numbers. Not saying it's not yeah. great. Yeah. So far, I think it could be arguably better. We're halfway through, but it could be better than the last album, DS4. Quality-wise, I'm liking it so far. We got to keep it going. We're basically halfway through the album. But comment down below. How do you guys feel about it so far? I like this one more than the other one. I, th I think it's, it's, it's up there with the quality, man. I definitely feel like this shit, this shit needs a feature, though. It needs, like, features. It needs, it needs a banger, bro. It needs one. Like we we gonna always could tap in randomly with like a Travis Scott, uh, obviously Young Thug, a Drake. We're not getting none of that on this album no. because it's like no niggas don't know what side to pick. I'm just gonna get me on back out of chain. Took a few losses, that's part of the game. Hey, that bitch from the back. That shit came out of nowhere. That shit came out of nowhere. That's that's that gunner that I know. I'm just gonna get me on back out of chain on the tsunami. Yeah, like wait, I bought the now. Rain, it's rain. GC trying to smoke out of haze. Happy angels, they pouring up whisper. We laughing right with you. I'm thinking about this. Bigger picture. Kicking my pee, let these boys talk and kill us. Hollering their mouth on the motherfucking dealer. Fucking factory AP. Yeah, yeah. I do business with the original dealer. Do my bit one like Godzilla. Caramel and red bone and some yellow. Back up the space out of Dodge. I'm just gonna me, I'm back out of chain. Took a few laps of this part of the game. It was all in my lane. On a tsunami, hey, like that way. That nigga turned his voice into like a tripping car. I'm trying to smoke out of hate. Back in the day, I'm staying focused. Get paid. I bought a Lotus. 
my lady. My lady. And even with shots in the cleaners, I keep me a maid. Hover the hood till it catch me a fade. Push crack and let nigga, let's get us a fate. Fuck all that bullshit, I went back again. I won and I get it. Independent, took us on Elza, still winning. I locked her in cause she freaking sedated. Pop right back out and don't show him no pity. I'm just got me, I'm back out of the chat. I had to swear they was all in my lane. On a tsunami, yeah, like wave. I'm in Skyami, yeah, jump in the wave. Where you brought? P Angels. Wow. Interesting hey. one right there. I like mm -hmm. the production on there. Mm -hmm. I like how he's coming. Mm -hmm. He's talking that money shit though, Mar. Maybe he's not broke. I he's like, he's not, like, bro. he literally said, I think he was talking to you. He was like, you niggas don't know how much money I got. My bad, like, bro. Fuck. You talking about losing a lot of money. Yeah, it's like, pick a you know side, bro. So you're that. either rich or you're like, you're losing money. Pick a side. You're talking about, he said he got um, factory start, watches and shit. Shit, did they start garnishing your fucking, <laughs> your savings? Listen, man, it's hard out here. I, uh, I know last night, supposedly, Boozy got arrested. And in Boozy, they're saying now he sold his phantom. To like pay for the the situation because it's like a real deal situation. Damn. I'm like shit. That's a lot, bro. It's a lot of money. Niggas selling their cars. Listen. Unless he's uh, uh, unless they're talking about the Volkswagen. <laughs> it could be the Volkswagen Phantom. <laughs> Imagine that, boozy boozy riding a Volkswagen Phantom will be insane. Next track, Born Rich. I take it back, bro. He was right. born rich, Marlon. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> babies on me, Born Beach. Yeah. Oh, baby, yeah. Michael Jackson now. Yeah. 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 Statement piece, I guess, yeah. but it's like it feels like a filler track, kind of, uh, in comparison to everything else. It's the weakest one so far. I would say, definitely, I, w I would say my least favorite song. Yeah, you can leave that one out. I would say easily. You can leave that one out. If you were to skip one so but far, like, easily that one. But it's like, damn, this bitch is dubbing you too, bro? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Maybe hood bitches for real. No, nah, I, I doubt it, bro. They don't give a fuck. Nah, man. listen, no. Gunner, remember Gunner? He walked out of jail with a bitch, with a fat ass, and he, oh, and he right. that was, bro. You've never you never seen go. no shit like that this since the mafia. Her, then. That's like some Godfather shit. I don't, I don't even know how she got in there. She was the one that got, took him out. She had a, probably all the money. And so he that, popped so up with that, another one. So that's what it is then. She's rich, so that's why the baby's gonna be very rich. <laughs> Yo. He got something going on there. The man is, is talking about his wealth, but that could be a skipper. Comment down below, what do you guys think? Not Next track, will be. yeah. Go crazy. How the potion didn't know where to go. Cross the street with my dog, yeah, the one. My God. Gonna wanna be waving. But I always been playing it low. When I'm out of Mercedes. Say the other niggas thinking it's gravy. Give a reason to hate me. Me your bitch and a friend, that's a cool three. I can't listen, they talk about this. I pull off and then y'all like it, don't even face me. I'm in the stack tall like Katie. Damn. Tell my who calling this shot, bitch. Calling my phone, saying they wanna bait. All these killers, I'm going crazy. But it's like you get crazy. Spinning on rich, go crazy. And then my numbers look crazy. When I pray, got my knees on the floor. To the high, even when I feel low. Think I got me a dime, I don't be do whatever I tell her whenever I say it. Like you keep pulling folks out the dish, they won't give you best shit, and you know that it's crazy. We done tried, but we couldn't say the world looking out for the girls and care the babies. I done took some real losses, but it wasn't you still trying to make this shit up, and it's crazy. Fresh money, Mr. Mingus, I'm going crazy. All these killers, I'm going crazy. Yeah. 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 He's talking real life. It's deep in the rap, man. There's life to get crazy. He's talking about the killings, people dying. He's everything, losing his friends. Everything, everything. Nigga was getting friends of his were passing away. Artists were passing away while they were all in jail. And then now he's out of jail. He's talking about he's losing millions. He's going crazy. This shit could get deeper than rap. Yep. Go crazy. He's going crazy. And this shit just sounds good. He's shouting out KD. So you know KD's gonna post this shit. Kevin Durant's gonna Kevin Durant's gonna post this. Imagine though he doesn't. I don't, <laughs> fuck, I don't fuck with raps. 
Listen, KD, you heard of stop. Imagine he's a shout out to that and then it puts a little rat emoji. Oh, oh man, that'd be crazy. Shit. That would be crazy. I don't think KD got that smoke in him though. It's KD, don't don't pick the street life. Post this. Support gunner. This is hard. <laughs> the music was insane. Yeah, the, the production, production in the background. Yeah, like, LA ooh. just kept getting elevated, bro. Bro, if he does like one of those live performances with like the Uncolor Studios with like a ooh. color backdrop to this song. Ooh. I think a lot of people are going to be coming at home watching that shit. I think that's going to be explosive, man. NPR nigga. shit? Oh, my With God. Live, live for... Nah, this is the Ooh. one right here. Let's keep it going. I don't know what else he's going to add to this song. Bread and Butter. You guys already saw a reaction. Go check it out. Next song after Bread and Butter. Turn your back. Having this fucked up, you up in the game. Everything you need. Little baby. Oh. Niggas in pain. So tell them. Oh. Niggas says he clenches his teeth. That was the one that he snippeted, where he was outside his house and people oh, were like, "Oh, it's okay. gonna drop." They ain't gonna find, they gonna make it out and fight it out. I heard mm -hmm. these rumors. I'm gonna pack it up and die now. Yeah, that yeah. shit was like a diary. Yeah, it was like a poem. The, the, this this is fuck. Uh, that one pretty much summed up everything. Everything. I really I feel bad for the man. I'm not gonna lie. I feel bad. The pressure is on. He's talking about he's grinding his teeth. You know what it is for a hood nigga to grow. Like, what the fuck? You couldn't read between the lines. You see, this is what I'm talking about. Y'all always high. This is the thing, bro. You got to be sober when you get hit with shit like this, bro. You got to read that shit word for word, bro. And he could he could have easily crashed out. Some niggas go crazy. Some niggas do drugs in this type of situation. Yeah. He could have done that. We would have seen him fucked up. You know what I'm saying? It's back to business, Back man. to business and back healthier than ever. That nigga's ready to have a family. He going to have a, someone's girl... Make a baby that's rich. This shit is on some other shit. I I'm liking the energy here. Deep song, long, yes. introspective. Yes. Melodic. Yes. Beautiful, like musical. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. This shit, man. This is what niggas needed. This is what niggas needed. This is this is amazing. Let's see what's next. Is this the last one? No, second to last. I was just thinking. I like some Marc Antonio. What is this? Oh my god! Oh, 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 Let me show you how we roll. 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 This sounds like, yeah, it could be like Marlon says. He, the, one of those records he might have made in jail. Yeah. He's talking about like that, you know. Had his celly. Iggy Weekend. You know, it could easily be some shit like that. He's talking about his bulletproof and all the cars. I'm thinking, like, why don't these guys. Listen, if we play Grand Theft Auto, <laughs> why is that have not adapted into real life? You want to bulletproof your cars, but Gunner, you got to be careful. What if someone buys an RPG? <laughs> <laughs> what if people just start getting grenades or get some sticky grenades that they stick it onto your car and they can do it, you know, with a fucking, what's it called, a, a control? Detonator. Detonator, you know, but it Why must be a reason. Why are you giving these ideas, 
You could put some claymores in the street. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you can't get those in real life. I don't know. I'm not in the black market. I'm not buying weapons, really. Yeah, you could probably get them. Most definitely. Someone got to have them. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Gonna stay protected. Be safe. I just you have know. to fly everywhere. Yeah, just fly everywhere. <laughs> like, maybe get some UAVs. You know, we don't know what's gonna happen here. <laughs> you know, Call, uh, he was in a Call of Duty commercial. Remember Gunna and yeah, Thug? They yeah. were in a Call of Duty commercial. So he knows what I'm talking he about. He got the plug. He got the plug. But this song was amazing again. Another introspective record. Yeah. Melodic. Mm -hmm. Talking like about life. Like, uh, talking to the people. It's that jail shit, bro. I'm that telling jail you. shit. Uh, I'm, I'm liking this song, this album, man. Especially towards the end right now. Yeah. Last song, All Right. How you gonna end the album, Gunna? I like feel this pain, but it's gonna be alright. I ain't sleeping through the night. But I hope we be alright, so we be alright. It's money in the face. You can play this shit at church. Hallelujah! But it's gonna be alright. They me out the chains on the suspended sense. Wonder why this pain ain't killing my rhythm. Taking all these medicine can't know my pain at all. They left me with a loss. But I'm gonna be alright. Damn. It's money in the fame, but me pain and it change. But I know we be alright. I love feeling this pain, but it's gonna be alright. You hold your head in shame, but it's gonna be alright. Uh, Tell me about mistakes, I can't ask God why. But I know I'll be alright. Why sell? But I know we be alright. Why sell? Why sell? A lot of people change, it won't ever be the same. But it's gonna be alright. Production wise, this is my favorite one. Man, this shit had layers, bro. I love this song. I love this song. That's that was perfect the way to end it. Perfect way to end perfect, it. Perfect, because it's positive. Yeah. Because we're we're taking we're thinking like, yo, this man's talking about suicidal thoughts. Bulletproofing like, everything. Bulletproofing everything. He has so much like you worried about Gunna. Yeah. But at the end, he's like reminding you guys like, I'm worried. You but know, we're gonna be all right. We're gonna be all right. Everything's gonna be all right. He's being optimistic. He's talking to God. You know. We can strive through this. So, he's going to strive through it. And it's Absolutely. a song that we can play. Anyone can play. Yes. It's universal when you're going through it. And I know we'd be all right. And it's like, fuck. Just fucking the, start the, crying. The instrumental is amazing, bro. Start crying. The last song that was named like this, as strong like this, was probably the, the Kendrick, uh, We Gonna Be All Right. Mm. And it's like almost his rendition of that. Yes. With the same concept, the same energy. Yes. This is amazing. The album in total. A gift and a curse. I think is a very, very strong project. I think that the energy, if we're talking about realistically, it really lives up to the title. Where I think he's taking it from the perspective of like, yo, this tree shit, everything I've done, there's a gift and a curse to this. Yes. He said like that, he that, said that, money, that the money and the fame. Yeah. You're going to get... Crucified. There's always both sides to a point. Yes. 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 Always. There has to be equilibrium. If something's too good to be true, it's too good to be true. There's yeah. gonna be something that's gonna right there, right behind it, that's gonna fucking clap you. Yes. Yes. And in Gunna's life. And in Gunna's situation, when it comes to people being accused of snitching, etc., I think that he has been like the one that's been the most musically inclined and talented. Amongst all these people that quote unquote have been accused of this. Yeah. Most recently a 6ix9ine. Gunna is way better than a 6ix9ine when it comes to musically inclined, flows, beat selection, everything. Especially when we're talking about hip hop rap. Yeah. So all Gunna had to do was drop good music. And you're gonna get some respect again. But at the same time we wanna hear answers to these questions. Yeah. So he combined both. I'm gonna give Here you niggas go. an album. Here you go. I'm talking my shit on this album. I'm not gonna talk no more. I have to protect myself. I can make it art. Here's an album. And he gave us the fucking album. I think that album was strong. You know, it, it's the best of both worlds. He's talking that shit, but at the same time, protecting himself. At the yeah. same time, like he said, again, he's gonna show his scars. He's not embarrassed, nigga. He's like, I'm gonna show my scars. It has to, bro. Because you have to be open about it. It has to. If you're going through what you're going through, you have to say it, like you said it here. Clinching your teeth. Clinch your teeth, nigga. Break them shits. Talk about it. <laughs> Crying in the back of the Maybach with your lawyer, your lawyer's Maybach. You have to say all this shit for people to understand, like, fuck, hold up. We're going to gain some sympathy, especially people that might be awesome, like, fuck Gunner, I'll check it out, though. 
Like, fuck, they hear this, they're gonna be like, fuck, this nigga's going through some real and shit. If you're saying fuck Ghana, why are you checking this shit out? Exactly. Because people are stupid. Because they think, like, oh no, someone, there was a tweet that went viral overnight. That shit has like 10 million views on Twitter, the tweet. Someone yeah. said, um, you're, someone was like, you're listening to a rap, by the way. That's all they said. A random mm. account with low followers. And it's viral. Because mad people are coming at him. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? What the fuck? Blah, blah, blah. Mm. Oh, 10 million views on the tweet. I'm like, God damn. And it's that mentality of people like, when you think like that tweet, is like, you're dumb. Think about the art. Separate it. I'm telling but not only that, it's like. And did he really even snitch? YSL hasn't said shit. Yeah. So who the fuck are we? You know what I'm saying? Unless you're in that circle and you know what's going on, you can't say shit, bro. Yeah. You don't know what's really going on. Young Thug's sister, Dolly White, I guess this morning, was commenting on a post. She was, like, basically saying, like, oh, yeah, play the album or something. Make me money. Make us money. Some shit like that. Mm. So, basically, supporting it in her own way, like, right. on some business shit. Yeah. Right? But basically supporting it. You know, we did have Little Got It last week calling out Gunna, or two weeks ago when Bread and Butter dropped, saying this and that about Gunna. Like, you fucking up the family, bro. This and that the family. Listen, I think Gunna has the right to speak his piece. He still has people around him that love him. Yeah. You know, he's doing something right. Mm -hmm. Not all his niggas fell off. Some people are around him. He still has a team. You know, shout out to Left. You know, he's he got hired by his team to do the music video. So people are... He has a team. Someone's doing something. There's still money there. They just have to really roll out Gunner properly. And if they this album, it's doing that, you know. Easily one of my favorite albums this year, too. If we're being honest. Especially because it has, like, a concept. A lot of albums this year don't really have, like, a concept mm -hmm. album. There's a concept here. The Gift and the Curse, The Pain, and I think he painted it pretty beautifully. Might be two skips on here, but that's what, let's say 13 out of 15. I'll give the whole album, I'll give the album like a 9 out of 10. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. I'll give the album a 9 out of 10. Off of first listen, I'll give it a 9 out of 10, because you got to include Bread and Butter. Mm -hmm. Bread and Butter, yeah. And that's still, that's still, I'm still playing that shit. As, as a non-Gunna yeah. non fan... I'd give it like a, damn. <laughs> As a non gunner <coughs> fan, I'll give it like a. Say whatever, nigga. It like could be a, a five. Like a 7.9. 7.9, okay. Yeah. Oh, that's good, that's good. It's, it's good. Comment down below. What do you guys think out of 10? First listen. I just don't listen The new to Gunner album. Like yeah, man. And I think, I think it's better than the last album. I think it's better than the last I album. I definitely like this more than the last album. I didn't like the last album. The last album, I got like two tracks off of that. Yeah, I remember that you didn't like it. I like the last album a lot. I but think Mop and then some other shit. I think that this album is better. It's more personal. This is not like an album for the label. There's no like features. This is just some personal shit and yeah. there's still bops on here. Good production. Yes. I like this. I like this shit. I feel like people like a Kendrick, certain people in the, in the, in the, in the industry would appreciate an album like this. Yes. I can, I can see it. I can see it. Comment down below. How do you guys feel about it? A Gift and a Curse. Brand new Gunna album. Gunna Wanna. Is he a snitch? Are we now snitches for listening to this? Church, hey, Are we know, bitches now? Know. What? Did we lose all street credibility? You know? <laughs> we have nothing to do with this. Don't lump us in with none of this shit. We have nothing to do with this. All we do is fucking yeah. react and review We're music. here to entertain. That's Are you not entertained? This is what the fuck we're here for. Yeah. Who um, the fuck was happening with them in the streets? At least I don't. I, yeah, I really don't. I really don't. Uh, care. That, that's y'all. Y'all are y'all are adults. Y'all knew what the fuck you was getting into. Yeah. Fuck you, hurting about backlash now, motherfucker. Yeah, and if people really like, if your dad mad at Gunna, then I don't want to speak this into existence. God forbid. But kill him. If you are the YSO. Damn, bro. No, but if it's like these YSO oh niggas, God. like on some like yo fuck Gunna, kill him because it's like what are you doing? Oh, you're not going to kill him? Then shut up. Because you guys are not supposed to even be gangsters. You want to be a gangster while you're in jail, while your friends are in jail, about a man that came out of jail. It's going to end up you being in jail, and the people that are in jail my, are never coming out of jail. My thing is is that, like, again, like I said, the only, the only, this is the way that I see shit, right? If you wanted to unalive someone, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you wanted to unalive someone, right? <laughs> it's either it's either you're in jail because of him. You know what I'm saying? He he sold you out completely. Yeah. Or you know he he killed someone related, put it on you. This this and that, blah blah. blah. I don't think Gunner has done any of that. Yeah. 
Gunna hasn't done any of that. Gunna, all he did from what we know was say that YSL is a gang. Yeah. Which, motherfucker, we all knew. Yeah. Everyone everyone assumes. So, like, what the fuck, bro? Everyone assumes. I don't know. To be honest, everyone assumes when these rappers turn these labels into, like, or these uh, groups into, like, a label, whatever. 4PF, 4L. Oh it's all cover-ups, bro. It's all cover-ups, you know, a lot of times stupid. for some underlying gang shit. You know, if not, they roll like a gang because you're all wearing the same chain and you're all doing this and that. You know, there's a lack of professionalism a lot of times. You always hear about, like, some member of some... A YSL member jumped this person, this and that. 4PF affiliate did this and that. So are you really not a gang? Y'all doing gang... Y'all doing gang actions, you know what I'm saying? You gotta check your people. You're not gonna say, oh, the label likes to beat on people. That's, you that's you gotta not, check your people, that's bro. Not, that's not good business. You guys gotta check your people, and it's gonna be too late for all you niggas because you end up gonna end up being dead or in jail. God forbid, but unfortunately, that's the circumstances we're in right now. Yeah. Look at Young Thug. One of our favorite artists of all time. We call that nigga Michael Jackson. If I ever would have meet Young Thug, I'll cry. They gonna love me for my ambition. If you enjoyed that reaction, make sure to check out more reactions right here in this link. Also, if you want to check out our podcast, full episodes available.